So cultural arsonists in the media decided a few years ago that statues needed to be demolished and buildings needed to be renamed because that's not the Red Guard or anything. Don't worry. It's, it'll, we'll stop there. We won't come to your house. They're still talking about it. And anyone who opposes it, who just like to, I don't know, have a statue of Teddy Roosevelt in New York City, is still attacked. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to this day attack anyone who thinks that was a bad idea. Here's how insane it got in 2017. George Washington was a slave owner, and we need to call slave owners out for what they are. Whether we think they were protecting American freedom or not, he wasn't protecting my freedom. I wasn't someone who my ancestors weren't deemed human beings to him. And so to me, I don't care if it's a George Washington statue or a Thomas Jefferson statue or a Robert E. Lee statue. They all need to come down. Yeah, they all need to come down. And because we sort of nodded and said, oh, well, maybe they do, we shouldn't be surprised that those ideas, which are poison, have infected our military. Of course, that was inevitable. At the United States Military Academy, West Point, in West Point, New York, there is now a push to get rid of buildings like Lee Barracks, named after General Robert E. Lee. He was a bad man, they say. He needs to be erased. Senator Tom Cotton is supporting a petition to stop this now. He joins us to explain why. Senator Cotton, thanks for joining us. You know that you're going to be called names for this. So rather than ask you questions, I, I, I'll just give you a chance to explain why you're doing it. <laughs> well, Tucker, I, I get called names a lot. It doesn't bother me any. Uh, what does bother me is when you have woke, politically correct liberals who are trying to erase history. Look at West Point. Uh, West Point is not just a military academy. It is essentially a museum to the United States Army. And the cadets there need to learn about their history. That's why they have a line of portraits of every superintendent of West Point. Robert E. Lee was one of those super superintendents from 1852 to 1855. We're going to take that painting down and pretend that he wasn't a superintendent when he was still an officer in the United States Army? That's or right. in the library, there are two grand portraits of Ulysses S. Grant and Robert E. Lee, the two great commanders in the Confederacy who faced off against each other. And fortunately, U.S. Grant won. But are we going to take down the Lee portrait so when cadets are studying in that library, they don't know who U.S. Grant opposed, some fictitious opponent who can't be named like a Harry Potter villain? You know, if we taught these politically correct liberals a little more history, maybe they would realize that BLM Marxists and critical race theorists actually sound just like John C. Calhoun, the great 19th century defender of slavery, because they always reduce people to the color of their skin, well, to nothing exactly but right. their race. They repudiate the declara they repudiate the principles of the Declaration of Independence and the statesmanship of Abraham Lincoln, which is one reason why, you know, this summer they started tearing down statues of Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson, but pretty quickly they went on to statues of Washington and Andrew Jackson and U.S. Grant and Abraham Lincoln. And when you're tearing down statues of Lincoln and U.S. Grant, it's not about the Confederacy or the Civil War, it's because you hate America. Let me ask you a broader question of the military. You, of course, have served overseas. The military is our most impressive institution precisely because it's a meritocracy. People from any background are judged on merit and courage and ability. That's why we revere it. There is a huge effort underway right now, as you well know, to change that and to make it not a meritocracy and to promote people, recruit people based on irrelevant, immutable characteristics. Is there anything being done to keep the military elite and meritocratic, to stop that? Well, it won't happen on my watch if I have anything to do about it. You're right, Tucker, that the US, United States military is one place where you can go, and it doesn't matter who you are or how right. rich or powerful your parents are or what color your skin is, in which you will only be held to the standards that you set for yourselves and that you can achieve. And there is no chance, no chance that we can continue to have the world's best military designed to keep us safe by preventing us from having to go to war in the first place if we water down those standards for any politically correct reason. The only, the only standard to which we should hold all of our soldiers and sailors, airmen, marines, is the same standard for each and every one of them, the standard of excellence. That's the promise of America, so nicely put, and I, and I hope it remains in the military. Big effort to change that, that we should know about. Senator Cotton, great to see you tonight. Thank you.